Hi everybody, happy Friday to you. So, I'm going to do my Friday favorites. Now I have to admit, I'm kind of in a crabby mood today, so I apologize if I'm just like, wah wah, bummer in your face. I just got a lot going on, but this weekend I'm going for a mountain getaway with my family. Um, so I'm excited about that. If you guys would like to see like what I pack in my makeup bag for like a weekend away, then thumbs up this video or let me know in the comments and I will film that. So let's get started with my favorites. First thing that's to address the lips I got going on. Um, I discovered this Wet n Wild lipstick um, in one of their end cap displays. I actually think it's from their matte line, but mine's not in like the matte packaging, it's just like in the regular packaging. Mine's really beat up and bangled. FYI, these do not keep well in your purse. The lids come off and then you get like chunks of burgundy all over your purse because that's hot. Anyways, this is called Urban Nights. This I have on my lips. It's a beautiful, beautiful, what would I call this? Like a burgundy, <laughs> a burgundy red. It's gorgeous. And then just on your lips, it's like just a really great fall color and I love it. It's nice and vampy and I'm digging it and I'm really happy I picked this up. So if you happen to see this beautiful wet and wild lipstick called Urban Nights in your local drugstores, grab it. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous color. All right, next for makeup, I've been loving this palette um, from It Cosmetics. It's the CC Radiance palette. It comes with three different items. I mean, first the packaging is cute. It's like holographic. I mean, hello, happiness. It has a nice sized mirror inside. It has, what is it? A color correcting brightening powder, a matte blush, and a matte bronzer. I mainly love this for the bronzer. I have it on today. I've been wearing this bronzer all week, and I just love it. It's a really nice dark bronzer that doesn't make you look muddy and it has a little bit of like a red undertone to it so it's really natural looking. Um, and the blush I really like as well. To be honest I hardly ever use the powder because I use my hourglass ambient lighting powders um, for powders but I'm sure the powder is nice but I really like that palette mainly for the bronzer. It's just a really nice easy grab and go thing like this would be perfect for me to throw in my makeup bag for this weekend so possibly I might bring this. Anyways, so there's what the bronzer looks like. You see it's like not super intense and it's just a really nice rich bronzy color. It has a little bit of the red undertones and red undertones just really help it look natural on me because I naturally turn red when I am bronzing and tanning so it just it really just it I like it. <laughs> what am I trying to say? It's a really good bronzer and I really like it a lot. It's really smooth, pigmented, easy to blend. It doesn't look muddy. It's just it's really nice and I really dig it. Alright, another thing I've been loving this week, I've had this for quite some time, but you know, I have a lot of makeup, so I go back and forth and rediscover things. I shop my collection. So I was shopping my collection, and I was like, oh yeah, pulled this bad guy out, and I love it. This is from Pixie. Their correction concealer in brightening peach. It's just a peach um concealer. This is a really good dupe to the benefit. A race paste <laughs> brain fart. I'm like, oh, mm, crickets. Anyways, so this is just a really nice peachy color. It's really great for correcting the under eye darkness. As you can see, it is quite peach. It's right there. I don't know how well you can see it. I feel like my light is a little like out of whack today for some reason. <laughs> But it's just a really great under eye corrector. It really cancels out the blue and purple tones with that peach and it really brightens up. So I use this first before my concealer and I just feel like it really makes a great combo to make me look alive and awake. So I've been loving this Pixie under eye corrector in Brightening Peach. It, you can get it at Target. It is kind of pricey, maybe like $15, but it's really worth it. I really like it. Okay, next thing I've been loving, also from the drugstore, also from Wet n Wild, this is Brulee eyeshadow. It's just one of their little single eyeshadows and it's nothing special. It's just a matte cream eyeshadow. But I've been using this so much. I use this like every single day and I use it, I lay it all over my eyelid. Eyelid, brow bone, I just like use it as a dusting to really like prep my eyes and cancel out any kind of discoloration. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, creamy, pigmented, beigey color. It's 
I mean, this was like, I think I got it on sale for like 99 cents. I think it's maybe like originally like $1.99, something like that. I'm not sure. Just an amazing beige color here. It's perfect for all over the eye. It just really cancels out any kind of discoloration. I have it on my lids and my brow bone today. I just, I've been grabbing for it and reaching for it and it's just, I just love it. It's such a simple thing. It's such a basic thing, but it makes such a difference and I just, I love it. Last two things are kind of body, skin care, face care. Um, this, I haven't wanted to talk about this for the longest time, but I love this stuff. And Lush recently re-released this. So if you couldn't get a hold of it last year, now is the time. They have it in stock online or probably at your local Lush store. This is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. It has the infamous Rose Jam scent or like the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. And you can see I'm just about done with this big old bottle and I love it. <laughs> this stuff is so good. I don't know why I have to make such weird faces and noises, but I do. So this smells luxurious. It's just the epitome of feminine woman like Cleopatra scent. I don't know. It smells like roses, lemon, and vanilla. It's just a very nice beautiful scent and I love to lather up with this and feel luxurious in the shower so I love this shower gel. Alright, last thing I want to talk about, um, this is my second little travel size sample of this because I haven't bit the bullet and purchased a full size yet because it's kind of a pricey item but it is freaking amazing. This is the Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics and this is the Active Moisture Vitamin B Cleansing Oil. <laughs> this oil it's a cleansing oil. It cleanses off your makeup. You rub it all over and it just dissolves and melts off all the makeup and it does it so well. It doesn't irritate my skin or my eyes. It's beautiful. It really melts off the makeup really nicely and it smells amazing like a pina colada, a tropical beach fruit vacation in a bottle. Smells so good. It's the same scent as their body oil, like their vitamin C body oil, which I want as well because it smells amazing but it's like $50 expensive <laughs> but this cleansing oil works so 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 good so after I'm done with this one I think I might need to go ahead and buy the full size because it is amazing seriously guys if you're looking for a cleansing oil that really breaks off and melts off all your makeup and has nice good ingredients and smells like a pina colada look no further than this little guy it's amazing you can buy a sample pack of this like the elizabeth den for one love organics like a little travel size kit that comes with all of the little travel size goodies that i love so if you want to try out before you buy i think that's a great way i think it's like six dollars and you get four little baby size samples um, but everything I've tried, I'm like, fall in love with, which is sad because it's so pricey, but it's so good. It's so good. So love, love, love this. So that was my Friday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any favorites of the week, please leave them down below in the comment section. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.